Kush's movie review. Boom! Kush's movie review. Kush, you watched a movie uh, called Quasi. Quasi? Quasi? Quasi. Quasi. It's, a, it's available Quasi on... Quasimodo. On Amazon? On Hulu. Hulu, no, on that's Hulu. what I was going to say. And depending on your plane, it comes with three commercial breaks, which I am not a fan of. Um, there's a, there's a commercial before the film starts. Cool. But then there are two extra commercial breaks and not a fan of that, but I guess, I guess I need to upgrade my Hulu package, whatever. Um, Broken Lizards Quasi. This is rated R. It is 140 minutes with commercials. Uh, the commercials are only about six minutes guys, but, but, but still, honestly, oh, that's, 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 bullshit. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Let's be real. Um, Broken Lizard, directed by Broken Lizard's own Kevin Heffernan. I think this is the first Broken Lizard movie he's done. It's usually Jay Chantasekar. Um, this is written by the entire Broken Lizard crew, which consists of Steve Lemmy, Jay Chantasekar, Kevin Heffernan, Paul Soder, and Eric Stolhaskill. I think I botched his name, but my bad. This movie stars all five of those gentlemen, plus Adrian Palicki, you may know her from the Friday Night Lights TV show. Uh, you may know her from G.I. Joe Retaliation. You may know her more currently from Hulu's and, and Seth MacFarlane's um, 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 oh, god damn it, his Star Trek parody. Um, oh damn. my god. Why I, can, I, just... I can pick you. You know what I mean. Anyways, this is a loose adaptation of France's Hunchback a Notre Dame fable and the only the thing bounds. I know of the only thing I know about the hunchback in Notre Dame is he lived in the bell tower of Notre Dame Cathedral, had a hunchback, and falls in love with a woman, depending on which version of it you see. I think her name changes all the time. I never saw the Disney version, but I'm gonna guess like Esmeralda was her name. No? All right. Cool. Am I off? I have no fucking idea. I never, I never watched. Oh, okay. I never he watched started it. Started singing a song, so I was like, "Oh, okay." He, well, he, I mean, there's a famous voice. everyone, you know, Quasimodo. He's he's always like bitching about the bells or something. He's always going the bells, the bells. That's that's his famous line, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But he hates I, I the bells. But if you hate, why are you living in a bell tower? It's dumb. Well, that. That there, there's no hate towards the bells. In fact, they make a little joke about, "Come on, dude, we're gonna be." He's like, "Hey, man, I live in a bell tower, and when you live in a bell tower, you're you're pretty apt about time." Like, it, anyway, there's um, this is by the Broken Lizard guys. This is an American comedy troupe. They um, they are heavily influenced on Monty Python, if you can't tell by the name. Otherwise, um, very funny guys. Of course, you know them from Super Troopers, Super Troopers Two, Club Dread. Uh, beer fest one of my favorites i think i like beer fest even more than super troopers but um they've got a line of hits under it and for whatever reason i don't think this was ever gonna make it to theaters so lots of hilarious gags um lots of r-rated comedy like the the story starts off with like you know those old like victorian era drawings yes Okay, on, so on, you, you um, got a narrator saying like, uh, "What are they called?" It's the, all on parchment. Uh, it's, it's a specific um, tapestry, books, tapestry, worry, tapestry paintings. Sure. Um, you know, they uh, the narrator starts the movie like, "Hey, it's 13th century France, and you gotta know that like everything sucks." And when he says that, there's just a still, still drawing of a man who's been tied to a rack hung upside down and is having cats stuffed into his asshole like, like that's how terrible this life is and you're lucky Wouldn't happen in new zealand it, yeah right um so we get a lot of jokes like that uh quasimodo quasi for short he uh he is a torturer for the french kingdom in fact he invented the torture rack that stretches people they have a very funny joke consistent with uh, Eric Stolhaski, whose name I keep botching. But uh, Eric is a normal-sized man as an actor. But through through the miracle of technology, 
they shrunk him down to Rey Mysterio size. And then he's a he's kind of like a beta tester. They're trying out this new rack. And they're like, yeah, we used to like stretch out real heretics. But they kept telling us everything hurt. Everything hurt. So that's why we started paying regular people to do this. So we could find out what hurts specifically. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm all about it. I'm just trying to get through culinary school. And But over the course of the movie, he gets taller and taller to the point where like he's taller than Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, I don't don't mean to ruin a joke for everybody, but it's it's well done. It's well done. So Jay Chandrasekhar plays the King of France. Kevin Soto plays the Pope. And um, for whatever reason, Quasimodo wins a lottery where he gets to confess all of his sins to the Pope. And when he wins that lotto, the king pulls him aside. He's like, hey, Quasimodo, you're a freak. And that's why no one's going to give a shit when I want you to take this knife and murder the Pope. And he's like, oh, my God, I can't murder the Pope, but I guess I'll do it. Whatever. Um, so he gets ready to murder the Pope. And then the Pope pulls him aside and was like, hey, Quasimodo, you're a fucking freak. So you're not going to care when I give you this knife to murder the king of France. And he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Double assassination, what do I do? Decisions, um, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So, look, there's a lot of fun humor in this. A lot of broken lizard humor in this. They they do a bunch of cute stuff with it, which usually I'm not a fan of, but I enjoyed everything with this. Is this their best movie? No. Is this their worst movie? Also no. But it's it's right there. It made me laugh the entire time. I would definitely check it out again. But uh, yeah, it's 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 no Super Troopers. It's definitely no Beer Fest. But it was a well done effort um, from director Kevin Heffernan, and um, you know the guys are just funny. They have good timing. Adrian Palicki, when she's not beautiful, she's a lot of fun in this too. You know, um, damn, I still cannot remember the TV show that she was on, which is embarrassing. So, um, I wish I could give this a higher rating, but I can only give this three out of five. But it's available for free now with a Hulu subscription. Three commercials that might have affected my my viewing habit, but uh, yeah. Three. Not a bad time by any means. Out of five. Yeah, exactly. not a bad time by any means. It... Seth MacFarlane. The Orville. Ah, that was it. Damn it, you got it for me. Damn it. I, I, I could picture it in my head, but... Orville. So yeah. By the way, season three of The Orville, best season of the series. I hope they make more. I don't know if we're going to get any more, but every uh, season of The Orville is also on Hulu right now. So there you go. Orville. Check it out. That's what we've learned from this review. Mm-hmm. To be fair, like in my in passing, because I haven't seen um quasi um yet, but like you say, is it worth is it best? No, is it worth no, no, no. but uh, to be fair, like with the, the broken lizard fellas by now you should know what to expect. It's that again, makes sense. It's, it's just a, a lot of fun. They're just making movies because one of the cheapest eh, I think it's one of the cheapest budgets they've had because, like, you're literally on a sound set. Like, it's it's it looks like a high school play. Um, uh, all the characters play two or more characters. So, like, the King of France also plays a bartender. Um, Quasimodo also plays a court jester. The Pope uh, plays the leader of the 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 the, the torture wings, etc., etc., etc. So, um, everyone did double duty on this, like. You know, yeah, they they make the movies here. because they want to have fun. I don't think they're they're yeah. setting out to win Oscars or anything like that. So just watch it with a pinch of salt and enjoy yourself. But yeah, cause I three to five, three to five. Moving on. Oh my god, such a great singer voice. It's now time. That was Freddie to- Mercury. You close Moving your eyes. On. We are going to do the. Hey-o. Oh, wow. Hey-o. 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 It's 
one of my Funko Pop well collections that I took out of the box. That's all, folks.